Hi guys, my name is Nicole and I am losing it. The weight that is. Um, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is the first time you're here. Um, I have compiled a list of 20 different items that I purchased um, either before surgery or after surgery that I think would make really good gifts for either yourself or if you have someone in your life who is a bariatric surgery patient or thinking about bariatric surgery, um, these items could really, really help them in their journey. So all of these items were purchased on Amazon. I'll post those Amazon links down below. I buy my entire life on Amazon. You're welcome, Mr. Bezos. I am the reason you are a billionaire. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I have a bit of an Amazon habit. Okay, first thing that I have on my list is this t-shirt. It says downsizing in progress. I think it's really cute. If you've seen any of my progress videos uh, or progress photos in my videos, you've seen that I've worn this shirt. It's now quite large, but that's the whole purpose, right? Um, so it's a really, I bought it a couple, maybe a few months before I started my, um, before I had surgery, so I could really track my progress and see visually um, as the pounds were coming off. It's, I, I love this t-shirt. Um, it's comfortable. There's different varieties as well. I'll post this exact one down in the comments, but you can look around and see there's different varieties too. Um, but it's just like, it's, it's nice and big on me now. And it's just a really good reminder of how far I have come. I'm really happy that I purchased this when I did. The next thing that I still use to this day, in fact, I bought a second one so that I can keep it with ex exclusively with my travel things because I don't like to be without it, is this weighted heating pad. Now, I talked about this in another video, but it does have some heft to it. Um, I think it's like two and a half pounds, maybe. I could be lying. Anyway, it's a nice, has multiple controls, time settings, but it has. it's really good for right after surgery because that bit of weight, if you put it on your abdomen, oh, it just really helps with compressing out that gas that needs to escape from the laparoscopic surgery. Anyway, it's it's an amazing heating pad. I love to wrap it on my shoulders. Um, I've stayed in a couple places. Wow, sorry, very staticky hair. I've stayed in a couple of places recently that were a little cold. This is just perfect for putting on your lap and just getting warm too. Um, I just love this heating pad so much. I don't know. I don't think it's possible to love an inanimate object this much, but I, I sure try. I love it. Um, it's just, it's nice and soft. I think this is the perfect size. Um, but yeah, so I love my heating pad. The next thing I have on my list is um, smaller plates and silverware. So this is one of the plates I use. I have used this plate since I had surgery, so it's over a year. It's still in good condition. I mean, it has some like knife cuts on it because... I guess I don't use a cutting board. I don't know. It just has some knife cuts. Um, I, it came like with four of them. One of them's a lighter brown color and that, like a tan. And that one does have a little bit of staining from some um, salsa I had on it. But these are like the perfect size. They work well in the microwave. They work well in the dishwasher. They clean up nicely. I really like these plates. And then um, I've also mentioned my little toddler forks and spoons before, so I'll link those again. Um, I really like this set of silverware. It's good quality, um, even though it's meant for toddlers, like it's not flimsy. I've had these for over a year. They still work perfectly. Um, they haven't bent or anything, so I really highly recommend them. The next thing I'm going to mention, and I no longer have mine because I did end up selling them when I sold my house. Um, I really had to downsize, um, but they were really handy and I've actually considered rebuying them. Um, and they are these super cubes, super spelled S-O-U-P-E-R, like soup. -er. Um, and they are these um, silicone trays. They come in different sizes. There's, I think there's one that's a cup, one's a half a cup, and then one's like a quarter cup size. And then they have littler ones that are like two tablespoons, um, which is perfect for right after surgery. But you can meal prep with these. You can put, you know, soup. I think they're intended for soup. Um, but you can put purees in here as well so you can measure them out. And then you can stick them in the freezer. They have a wire frame, a metal frame, so they stand up nicely in the freezer. Um, they're oven safe to, I believe, 400 degrees. Probably want to check that in the instructions before you take my word on it. But it's, I think it's up to, maybe it's 350. It's something. It's not like, they're not high heat tolerant, but, you know, pretty reasonable for the 
for just anything in the oven. Um, but yeah, you can put them in there and then you can freeze whatever you're freezing, say you're freezing soup. Once they're frozen, you can pop them out, put them in a um, plastic bag to store in the freezer, and then you can use the super cube again um, to make something else. But it's really good to make out pre-portioned meals. Um, the next thing I have on the list is a fun pillow. So right after surgery, you have a bunch of incisions on your stomach, and if you have to cough or sneeze, that just pulls those incisions and, and it, it doesn't feel very good. Um, even when you have to like stand up off the couch, it doesn't feel good to have to use your core muscles. You know, while you're in that healing stage, it's just kind of uncomfy. Um, so they have these cute pillows. Um, they have one that's more for like a sleeve surgery, um, but you could get any pillow. I'm sure somebody would love any cute pillow for a gift um, that they can hug if they need to see if they need to sneeze or or um, cough or you know while they're standing just to really alleviate the pressure on the abdomen. Um, but it's also nice for when you're going home from the hospital to put a pillow um, and then put the seatbelt over the pillow so the seatbelt's not rubbing on your new incisions. Um, and then, you know, there's just kind of a cute little memento from your surgery as well. Okay, so the next thing on the list is a good pair of slippers. So I used to buy myself for Christmas every year a pair of Ugg Scruffette slippers. They were my favorite, but they only lasted for like a year and they cost like $120. <laughs> Um, but I found this dupe on Amazon. Oh, now I'm losing what the brand is. But I'll pop up a picture here that shows what the actual brand is because it doesn't say the brand on here. That's really strange. I probably cut out the tag, honestly. But they look just like Ugg Scruffettes. Um, they feel just like the Ugg Scruffettes. Like they have the hard sole because I liked, I don't know, I usually go outside when I have my slippers on. I need to have a good rugged sole um, or I just ruin them. Um, but I've had these now for almost a year and they are still, like I'm not even buying myself a new pair for Christmas this year because I don't need to. These are, these have lasted so much better than my Uggs usually did. So I'm very happy with these slippers. So that's my recommendation, but just slippers in general, I think would be a really welcome gift um, from anybody, not even just a surgery patient, but just anybody in general. Slippers are great. Okay, let's stay on the topic of comfort and let's talk about blankets. So my mom got me this really pretty blanket when I had my surgery and I really love it. It's so soft and it's just, it's just really pretty. It kind of just fits my aesthetic. My mom just really hit the nail on the head with this blanket. I really like it. So I think just a pretty blanket for recovering would be really appreciated by anyone. And then I had this other blanket that really came in handy. So it's nice and soft, but this one is an electric blanket. Um, here's the control thing that plugs in. But the blanket itself, you can wash um, this brand, which is nice. Um, but it gets really nice and toasty. And right after surgery, I was so cold. Oh my goodness, I was so cold those first few days after surgery. So this really came in handy. I would put this on and then I'd put my mom's pretty blanket on top too. And I was just as snug as a bug in a rug. So I think this is a great gift idea. Another good idea is an adult coloring book. Um, so I found this one on Amazon. I couldn't find the exact one that I had bought right before surgery. Um, but I bought myself this and some coloring, um, some colored pencils. Um, and they came in handy because right after surgery, I was so bored. I think I watched the entire library on Netflix and Amazon Prime and Hulu and Disney Plus. Like after a few days, I was so bored. And it just was kind of nice to doodle and, and you know, it was just a nice distraction and kind of got me to focus on something other than, you know, food and pain. <laughs> So, I don't know, I really enjoyed the coloring book. Another thing that could be really helpful is a good cookbook. So I bought this one, the Fresh Start Bariatric Cookbook. I can't find my copy, I haven't referred to it in a while, but I really liked this cookbook because um, they had different recipes for different stages of your journey. And um, they had like, it has like an icon that tells you um, which stage that recipe is appropriate for. Um, and the foods that I did make were pretty good. Um, there were some that were a little more involved. I'm not the best cook. So it was really good to be able to see and to, you know, to visualize and see recipes for um, the different stages of the bariatric diet. Okay, next up, this is another thing that I sold when I sold my house and had to downsize, but was a food processor. I really loved this Cuisinart food processor. It was 
easy to use. It was, it looked very modern and made me feel like a real cook. <laughs> um, but it just, and it worked wonderfully. So I really recommend this food processor. Um, now I'm put it, putting up a second food processor. This one I actually got many years ago. Um, it's just a little four cup, I think, maybe even smaller. I think it's four cups. Anyway, it's just, um, it just chops and grinds. So this would be good for more like soft stages and, you know, as your diet advances a little more. But you know, it's good for for little meals and that's what you're eating when you're a bariatric patient, right? Little meals. Okay, my next gift suggestion is to get them a bunch of sugar-free syrups that they can try um, and they can use to flavor yogurts or flavor coffee or flavor, um, I don't know, different things. So um, my favorite, I, I really like the Torani brand of syrup, so like this one is the classic hazelnut. I don't know if that's focusing. Um, but they Amazon does sell sampler packs, so I'll post a link here. There's also the Jordan brand skinny syrups. Those are really good as well. I'll post a link for those down below as well. Um, but yeah, look around and see. Maybe just get them a variety pack. That would make a good gift. Okay, the next thing on my gift list is um, journals or diaries. So... I've been filling these out for a few years now, but I have this one that's QA a day. Um, it asks the same question every day for five years. Well, like every day has a different question, but like, you know, December 9th, every December 9th is the same question for five years. It's really interesting to see your previous year's answers and to see how much your life has changed over the years. So, um, and then this one is one line a day. So it just has blank lines where you can write just a little bit, just a small paragraph. Well, it says one line a day. I never stick to one line. <laughs> or you can write just a little bit every day, but every page is the same day for five years. And again, it's just really interesting to look back. Like when I, you know, on my actual surgery day or let's see. Like, let's look at November 10th. November 10th from last year, 2022, so that would have been just a couple weeks post-op, said, first post-op visit today, everything is great. Oh, and I entered Wonderland today. I'm 199.8 pounds. Like, that is a fantastic memory, right? And now I have it here. And then this year on November 10th, Let's see what it says. <laughs> it's gonna embarrass me. Like this year, I put a little better today. Um, oh, I was sick. Still coughing a lot. Booked an Alaskan cruise and a Caribbean cruise for May. Super excited, but kind of regretting the costs. So anyway, next year when I write on November 10th, I'll be able to look back on those true previous entries and well, I'll be able to see if those cruises were worth the costs, I guess. But you could also get your the recipient or yourself um, just a blank journal with a fun cover um, to really, you know, to, to jot some things down, to maybe jot down appointments, jot down things that they still need to do, jot down recipes, you know, a, a journal I think is always very appreciated. Okay, so next on the list is food prep containers. So I got these containers that have little dividers um, and so that helps me, you know, put protein in the bigger section and then maybe put some vegetables in the other. Um, I really like the dividers, but then there are other meals where I just need a container. I really like these Rubbermaid containers. They don't stain. Um, they wash up really well. They're very sturdy. I really like them. They're a little more pricey, but I do think that they're worth the investment. And then um, I really love Pyrex dishes. So um, like these Pyrex containers, you can't put the lids in the oven, but you can put the bowls just right into the oven to cook whatever you're cooking. Makes meal prep really easy because then it, you know, you pull it out of the oven. If you're not eating it, if you're meal prepping, then once it cools down, you pop the lid on and you can put it right into your fridge. So I really like Pyrex containers as well. Another gift idea that I have is flavored protein powders. So um, you might be able to luck out and find like a sampler kit. I don't know if I've ever seen those, but that might be a good idea. But like Orgain, they have these um, limited edition like holiday flavors. So this one's like pumpkin, this one's pumpkin spice. And then they have this ugh, peppermint hot chocolate one. So I think those would make excellent gifts. Maybe with a cute mug. Another gift idea is like a set of hand weights or 
if you look over on my door there, I have like a pulley system that um, is weighted, resistance bands, that's what I'm thinking. Like a resistance band thing that fits over the door. Um, make sure, don't ask me how I know this. Make sure you lock your door before you start pulling on those. Just, you know, some friendly advice. <laughs> Uh, but like that particular set that I'll link down below has some fun colors and different um, resistance band strengths. Like this one's 20 pounds. The one hanging up there is 10 pounds. Don't judge. Um, this one's 40 pounds. But it also has like straps for the feet that you can attach so you can lay down and put your foot in the straps instead. Um, I really like it. I I'm very happy with it. But then I also have some like free hand weights three pounds and five pounds. Again, please don't judge me. The eight pounds are just too heavy for me still. I'm, I'm delicate, I guess. <laughs> but I think, you know, a good weight system. They're fairly inexpensive, um, but I think that they would be appreciated because we really need to preserve our muscle function as bariatric patients. The next thing on my list is, well, I'm glad it's on the list next because I am thirsty. A nice water bottle. So I am partial to Hydro Flask, um, not just because I'm a basic white girl, but I just really think that water, I mean, water stays cold in them for so long. And I think that they just, I think water tastes better in them. And then you can put fun stickers on them, make them yours. And they come in cute colors. I just really like Hydro Flasks. Okay, but if you, the person is a new bariatric patient, you have to watch because like, I love the straw lid. But right after bariatric surgery and for like at least six weeks after, you can't be drinking out of a straw. So you need to make sure that you get like a flip top um, lid instead. Um, I can't remember if this flip top lid, it doesn't have a name on it. I don't know if this one's Hydro Flask branded, but I know this straw one is not Hydro Flask branded. So if they already have Hydro Flasks, um, you can get a different lid either a straw if they're um, outside that six week window or you know get them a new flip top lid or they have sippy lids too um, for their hydro flask bottle but a water bottle and then um, here is another water bottle that I did purchase and use after surgery I don't use it anymore um, because now I'm, I'm pretty good at my routine of getting in water but this water bottle measures how much water you have um, drank and so that's a good, because we really need to stay on top of our water intake um, as bariatric patients. So it's just good to have a visual indicator. Okay, so the next item is something I have um, just recently purchased, but really glad I did because I am really enjoying it. Um, it has made cooking very easy and um, that is my new air fryer. And this is the instant it's from instant pot instant vortex mini it's the mini so i can only eat many amounts of food um it's just a one person air fryer so it's relatively small if you're cooking for a family of course it wouldn't be the best option but if you know someone's just cooking for themselves or um, and just needing small portions this is great so i've cooked chickpeas chicken fish um, heated up fries um, cooked a bunch of things in here and I just really, really like it. I think it's a great air fryer. Um, it also roasts and bakes. I haven't used either of those functions, but yeah, good gift. Okay, the next, um, gift idea that I have is a nice tote bag. So my mom got me this tote bag, um, for when I started the process. Well, when I was pretty close to having surgery. And it says positive thoughts create positive feelings and affect positive life experiences. So it's a really cute bag with good message. Good, it's good to stay positive. Um, but I really liked it because um, when I started my program, they gave me this binder full of just um, a bunch of different information. Um, I had to go to like nutrition classes and fitness classes and they gave me information. And then every time I had an appointment, they gave me more information and they gave me handouts on different vitamins and supplements and just a lot of information. So anytime I had a bariatric related appointment and follow-ups, whatnot, I take this bag with me and I just put whatever is related to it in this bag. Um, I even have 
masks because I started the process during the times of COVID. Um, but yeah, I have like a pen in here and it's just nice to keep it all in one safe place. So if I need to refer back to something, I know exactly where it is. Okay, and then my last um, gift suggestion is a Nutribullet. So this came in handy, so handy when I was making um, my purees at the beginning. Um, it really made meal prep in that stage very easy. Um, it was easier than the food processor because it's smaller. Um, and then now I use it to make smoothies. Um, it's great because you just put everything in this cup, blend it up, and then the cup has different parts that you can switch out, including like a handled um, lip for the cup. So you just screw that on after you're done blending it, and then you can just take your drink with you. So it's really handy. I really like it. I got it in the rose gold color because that's my thing. And it just looks really nice on a counter. And I just, I really like it. The, the um, motor is very powerful. I've been using it for over a year with no problems. Um, yeah. Okay, so those are my 20 gift ideas um, for either yourself or for a bariatric surgery patient in your life. Um, but hopefully you found some useful information in this video. Please like and subscribe if you would like and you haven't already. You can go back and view some of my other videos that I have created for this channel. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.